Hello again everyone, it's David with the UFO Dave page on Facebook. Back at the cave once again. Beautiful day, beautiful, gorgeous day. Water's calm and uh, I think it's time to go back to the cave. See if that rock's been disturbed that I put up there. There's been no wind this week, or a minimal wind anyway, but not enough to to topple a rock off the uh, spot where I put it anyway. So I'm going to head straight. I'm going to make a beeline, okay? Last time, last couple of times, I've gone from the public swimming area around along the shoreline, around the bend, around the corner there, and the cave is just on the other side around the bend. But I'm going to make a beeline straight for it and do some other things, maybe go past it this time, around to the other side, way over here. Although there's not much rocks, not many rocks along the shoreline, but we'll see, time permitting. Okay, observing the battery, and off we go. Okay, one thing I wanted to note as I'm setting off today, last time I was a few feet down from the entrance to the cave because of the water level, but today the water level is even higher. I might be able to get my entire boat right inside the front of the cave and jump out. Well, we'll see. Don't want to get myself stuck out there. <laughs> Anyhow, just a little note before I head out. It's very high. The water level is super high. And I've had to walk down to the end of where this dock is before to put the boat in. Anyhow, beautiful day. It's like me and one other person here. They're sitting in their truck. <laughs> okay, off we go. Okay, as so I'm heading across to the other side, I wanted to show this to you. I've said before, and a few videos ago, I realized that there's the same marks that I've been finding and showing you, the triangles, the gouges in the rock, the scratches in the rocks, all that kind of stuff, but on a much larger scale. You can see here, all the way along this rock face and going kind of sideways, is a path of cut rock. Starting with coming right out of the water, you can see with an A shape or a V shape or whatever, gouging this fresh rock, exposing fresh rock, gouging all this chunks of rock out as this creature comes up and gouges more rock out, makes more gouges, but then you can see here chunks of rock taken out and scratch marks. This one's kind of a curved mark like I've been showing you, but on a much smaller scale, but this is, this is like five feet or more. And underneath that is a little hollow I've showed before of uh, just a little nest in there. And uh, I want you to see this below that. Look at that. And that's about, that's a big slice in the rock face. About four feet by maybe a foot and a half at the bottom. But that was started right at the top there. And whatever it was, was much larger than what we're, uh, what, what I've been showing. I mean, uh, the little triangles that are as small as uh, a dime, and then these are five feet or more. And then as you go up, I wanted to show you this all the way off the rock here. There is, where is it? Right there. That's about four feet by four feet. That's a V or an A shape or a triangle, whatever you want to say. And look how big it is on the side of that mountain. Same thing I've been showing you, but on a much smaller scale. Uh, these things are much larger. Anyhow, and all along the rock face, going up the top, there's chunks taken out. And like claw marks, these A shapes, V shapes, whatever. A giant claw went into that and dug that out as it went up the rock. Onward to the cave. I'm very excited. Just heading right around the corner there. But I'm sure the water level is going to be 
right up to the entrance. Let's go and see. And as I'm going around the corner here, I don't want to pass by this one, speaking of triangles, but I found these doubles a lot. And look, you can see a big slice mark taking a chunk out of that big boulder. But look, two identical triangles. I found that a lot before. And I'm sure I've photographed those before, probably from about 15 feet lower, as the water level is super high right now. It just changes everything. And you can see how little nests like that are now easily accessible. That's a nest right there. Access, little grassy area, and that's a nest. Anyhow, some water sloshing up against the shore here. Making me nervous. See all the slices, look at the scratches along there. Giant, I mean, if you think large scale, that's a giant scratch. It seems to expose minerals or leaf minerals or something. There's always this white or red or something. I'm trying to figure that out, but yeah. Giant scratch marks on the nest right there. I always get sidetracked on my way to this cave. It's just fascinating. And then another one. A sideways triangle. Right there, big chunk taken out. That's like four feet long, horizontally, two feet tall. Big chunk taken out. And on the rock right here, see this is the thing right there. Big slice. I've got rocks at my home. Eagles. Rocks of my home that have this exact same slice, but on a much smaller scale. This is a three feet, three foot one, but the entire face of that rock's been just torn off. Look at that. You can see, scratch went down like that, okay? If you can't see that, especially if you're a scientist, my God. If you're a scientist and you've seen any of my videos and you still think that I'm a nutter Showing just basic rocks. Then you should burn whatever degree you you got. Look at that. Again, these double triangular shapes. There's a nest right up there. I've shown this before. But there's claw marks going all the way up the side of this. And along and up behind the rock there. There's a nest up there. And look, you can see the scratch marks on the rock above it. Giant scratch marks. Those are very large scratch marks there compared to the small ones I've shown you. You can see the claw marks. And then that rock up there. And right here. marks right in that along the underside of that. The triangular shapes on the scratch marks that are like literally, you can see the claw marks. And right there, you can see the scratch marks I'm coming up to us. Here we go. And right in the rock as well. Like, look at this rock right here. It's got scratch marks in it. And then just chunks of rock taken out. This whole thing is a freaking nest right here. You can see all of the fresh rock exposed. And what it does, let me try and get my way here. Single-handed paddle. What it does is that it comes up out of the water on this side. And goes all the way along here. And up. Nice little perch up there. And again, whatever this red is. A mineral or something, it's, oh, there's another, right up the top there, another perch, and above that as well. And you can see the pathway coming down the side here, right down and into the water, or vice versa. And look, look at the scratch marks coming out of that, the claw marks, that one right there, just sliced right through that rock as it went up out of the water. see its path it took slowly floating around 
the side here. Big claw mark in the rock up there we just passed. Anyway, we're just slowly floating along here. It's taking us right directly to the cave, so we might as well just let her roll. I'm gonna drop my paddle in the water here. You can see the fresh, freshly exposed rock. You know, this isn't millions of years old, like scratch marks right there. This isn't millions of years old. And even the little tiny one, look at that little tiny triangle. Little tiny triangle. And then as big as this, you know, five feet across, then you go right there. Look at that. Claw marks right in the rock, I'm taking chunks of it out. And again, you can see the path it takes from this chain, like a little hollow for it to sit in right there. Comes up out of the water and then it can go up here, and along the side and all the way along and up. Goes right up the top there. You can see all the scratch marks in this rock. Look at all those scratch marks. Wow. Yeah, that's natural. And look this red, whatever pigmentation. Look at all the scratch marks. Here we are at the cave. And that. Wow. Scratch marks in the rock. You can see just giant scratch marks and chunks that are A shaped, V shaped. And a big claw mark taking chunks out. You can see it better in the camera than you can with your eye. Anyway, here we come around the corner. Oh, the rock is gone. And there's a clear path right up into the cave. No fuss, no muss. that I showed the other day just on the on the side where the kayak is going over are gone now obscured by the water look at all these gouge marks and gouges taken out of the rock you can see all these A shapes V shapes whatever and that rock I put there it's tipped over inward okay so a wave might have come up and knocked it okay that's very possible the one up there the little one that i threw up there doesn't appear to have moved and look at these triangular marks i showed them before too look at that
see what I'm looking at here. And your water dripping inside the cave. Now it's going to hole it out like maybe 10, 12 feet inside. I don't know how wide it goes inside. here. It's a shady area. I'm going to lose battery here. Yeah, there's a little kind of a nest. Positioned here to see if it'll be possible to get out of the kayak. Okay, I'll get back with you. You can see that's the uh, the channel that I kind of took the rocks out from. I have a little bag of rocks that I took out from this little channel the other day. Couldn't get this one out. You can see it's got a gouge mark in it. A shape as well. Same with like that one there. Many, many, and look at all these. I mean, jagged cut marks in this rock, like you wouldn't believe. All jaggedy as it comes up out of the water. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up out of this kayak or get back into it. Very difficult, but I'm not trying to get myself in a position where I can see around the corner. Let's see what's in there. We can see a more fresh rock. And obviously this right here, I mean this is a rock that's been exposed. Same time you can see, like on that rock right there, it's red. It's coming down. Like these colors. Cut marks in the rock. And this red comes like it's coming down like liquid. the rock that tipped over so now I've pushed it to uh, pancake uh, I mean, uh, pizza style with my uh, paddle further up. It would be difficult for the, the water to knock it off from there. Something we'll have to actually come up there and drag that off. Oops. Man, that bugs me. I can't get in there. It's just like a little depression. A round depression in there. using this all the time now. We'll see if that stick moves too. Like it would crack. 
crush it or drag it or something, I think. But when the water level was low, there's no way for that stick to have gotten in there. There's, there's no trees for it to fall down and go inside. Even if it did fall down, it would have to have a curve to go inside there. Something took that inside there. myself in here but uh, I can't get far enough I'd have to jump into the water and it's a bit chilly at this time of the year it's like one degree Canadian is that 30 American anyway but from here like, like, I'm in a whole different position here I can just I'm, I'm stable right now but look at this like that right there you can see the shape of a claw see on this side where I'm wedged like even the most minute slices right there like the slice is so fine you can tell how sharp the, the claws are and like right there came down from above and just took that chunk out and you can see where I am here just like on the side here, like you can see, right down here, right down here, right through to, see where my finger is? It followed through and took that out there too. And it came down here as well. Look. small one like this, like right here, a little tiny, tiny one, Look at the point that comes to, right below it, here, it matches, see, and you can see all the chunks of the rock that have been taken out, this is fresh rock that's been exposed all here, fresh rock that's been exposed, all these claw marks, let's see, one, two, three, four, right through, this is the water, that's the water right there, okay, you see a bear climbing out of the water, you see a cougar, there's a nice slice right through there, If you don't think that's a slice, if you don't think this is a slice, well, that's just a crack in the rock. Look, right at the very top, you can see two, like something in there, dragged right through. You can always see the very point of its claws as it goes in right before it takes a chunk out. And then here too, all here, everywhere, everywhere. Slices, slices, little chunk, little, little notch taken out with a tiny little point, and a tiny little A. My battery finally died. Anyway, who knows how long this was going to last. So yeah, you saw this one, this little tiny notch with a point. And then going up the rock, you can see, look, right up above me, there's a claw mark in the rock where it's taken out. Big chunk of rock piece of that rock and then right nearby where is that a little tiny notch little tiny I thought just showed that one but above it they're like all the way up you can see the little A's little notches little triangles all the way up everywhere where it's used this I can get that. It's 
see what's in there or what. Trying to get as close as possible with my camera. Can't see anything but my eyes going in the sunlight now. vertically up rocks. I think it dig its claws into the rock face and take chunks out. Anyhow, maybe we'll go around the corner and see what's along there and we'll make our way back. shown these things can be in various sizes so if you see a little tiny one it could be a baby and the bigger ones are obviously they can be the size of mountains this is another nest I've shown from a, a distance or an access point that it has it goes right in there and just sits up on this rock that red whatever it is yeah, let's just say it's a mineral, okay? That red mineral, you can see it's this little perch. But it always seems to be around wherever this thing perches, this red mineral or red whatever algae or something. Look at that. A couple of big claw marks right across that rock. It's like three and a half, four feet dragged right across that rock and next to it. Look at all those chunks and strips taken out. One after the other. If you are a scientist and you say that that's natural, those slices in the rock, like that. It curves around in a semicircular way. It takes triangles like that out. All along this rock face you can see. Now we got a good flow going here. Now this is that nest. This nest with the tree in it that is so cool and look all the chunks taken out triangles chunks slices in the rock you saw that one that's the same shape as the one on the mountain I just showed when I first started this video the exact same shape I'm heading back there to get closer to that but look at that nest it's like an oasis Okay, I'm heading back. Okay, I've turned around and I'm heading back there, but again, there's this ramp with the red mineral, whatever, and there's something up there. There's no way that could have floated up at a water level, hasn't been even close to that. It's like a mop head. I don't know what that is, but look at the gouge and the rocks. Look at that big chunk taken out. And all the gouges and the scratch marks and the triangular marks coming up out of the water. It's a little oasis over there. We're heading back there, but I'm, I'm floating in the wrong direction. Okay, heading over there. Well, I wanted to, to show you too. Look underneath the water. You can see the triangle shapes. Hopefully you can. Anyway, I'm hand paddling here. I'm going to head back to this area, but as I'm going by, I mean, it's frequented this area. You can see the chunks of chunks of rock that it's taken out. There's a big triangle one here as we're coming past. I'll show you. Look at that. Triangle chunk. More fresh rock exposed. Slices in the rock. Triangle right there. I'm going to 
bite something. Okay, here we are. Another nest. This one's great. I love this nest. And it coils around that tree. It loves that. You can see all the rocks it's brought over. Got a little, little collection. It's all smoothed down. Wow, look at that. Up on that rock. I'm taking the sun in my eyes, but I hope I can show that. Big old claw mark coming across that rock. I'm going to back up here. Look at that big chunk. Okay. Big chunk. That There's valleys across the top of that. That something's dragged a big claw across the top of that. And then below there, look at all the fresh rock exposed. Something's come up out of the water and you can see that. Big old chunk taken out there. Fresh. Not within the last million years. Hmm? Big slices along the rock. Again, all sort of triangular shapes. You know, I think when people like uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce and all these people are throwing up the triangle, all these NBA players, what do you think that means? You think it means Illuminati? Or do you think it means that they know about something that creates triangles and big gouges in the rock? Now that one, that one on this side, is almost exactly shaped the same as the one on the mountainside. This one's only less than a foot, maybe six inches, seven inches. next to a big chunk taken out of it, but that shape right there, right in the center, is exactly the same as the one on the mountainside. The one on the mountainside is huge in comparison. Look at all those rocks up there. They've all been chewed on. And it's been hollowed out. You can see how it's a little more semicircular. It's been hollowed out. It's a purpose-made nest. just like that little one that I showed you. The crack in the rock, it starts with points like this. That's where its claws first go in. And then, boom, a giant chunk of rock just falls out and into the water. And the back where these, these triangles are, there's one. All these gouges in the rock. If you look closely, you can see there, some of them are in pairs, or there's actual hands. It's like a mop head or something. Up on the rock, a little present it's brought itself to keep at its little nest. Little steps going up to it. Right into the water. You can see scratch marks even on these rocks. this, where the rock's been taken out, that's in another, that's a triangular shape right there, but it kind of matches the one next to it. But if you go back a little bit, you know, if you move back 30, 40 feet, you can see that these triangular shapes are everywhere going up the rock. point where the claw went in. And then 
this whole face right here. You can see the triangular marks. Or along, you can see how it comes down. Or scratches along sideways. These are sideways. slices. Again, there's those little points where it starts. Something with a claw that it can sort of bunch up as a, like a fist and very small or make wide. And this is like a slide. These things, you know, these little alcove type deals that I was seeing on the other side of the lake. And then this big old chunk of rock that's been taken out. If you step back, you know, don't look at it as a, you know, five inches or whatever. Look at it as that's, that's two feet. And the same thing. Look. Right there. That's upside down. Okay. So that. See the gouge. That one looks like it's upside down because it starts from below. And then see how all that rock is taken out. More triangles, big ones on sideways, then the little ones here, here the eagles, and all this rock damaged along here, or the rock that's been cut, like these, you know, going down. sideways. This is a little perch for something small, but it's also access to going higher up on the rocks and into the woods. And as we go along, I can see we're about to come So obvious to me these things now. These slices, claw marks that are in the rock. Oh, I'm gonna have to back up here. I'm getting stuck on a rock. And another, like I said, we've dislodged. Okay, here we go. Like I said, you can see. Where it's created these slides, these uh, little ramps. And as the water level changes, they have access to different areas of the lake without having to put too much effort in. I'm not saying they can't scale vertically up the side of this rock face, but easier just to slip in and out of the water like that. If you can see these chunks taken out. When you start thinking bigger scale, you know, not just tiny, like a walrus size or something like that, but when you start thinking mountain size, they're definitely, I mean, whoever they are, the people that know about this are definitely hiding this, distracting people from this, because it's everywhere. And you can see all along this, oh man, this nest here, another one. Like I said, when the water level's higher, it just can come right up out of the water. Look, this red again. Red. Whatever that red is. You can see is where the tip of the uh, kayak is. Something scratched along sideways there. And these things may be old ones, old scratches. These valleys and gouges. Or new. I mean, old meaning hundreds of years old. Again, all these triangles. Fresh rock exposed in a flat area with uh, rocks that have been chewed on. I'll flip around going backwards, but look, nice little ramp coming right up out of the water. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause it and turn myself around here. Let's see here, another little nesting area. I'm just a little bit further past. But yeah, another flat area. And you can see the scratch marks on the rock coming up out of the water. 
triangular marks there. A shaped, V shaped, whatever you want to say. Little chunks, triangles in the rock, big, small, everything in between. Just looking up and you can see the rock face is, uh, again, areas where chunks have been taken out of it. Chunks taken out of the rock up there, center of the frame, and above it. Yeah. We'll just kind of cruise along here and let the current take us where it will. taken out of the rock. Here's another triangular shape. Tons of these little chunks taken out of the rocks. And slices in the rocks as it climbs its way up. That's weird, kind of concave area. But you can see where it's been climbing its way up. slid down here. Something has slid down here. And look, you can see the uh, tree's been kind of damaged as it's come down. Pulled the tree almost out of its roots. 
it's dead anyway, but I mean, uh, coming down, it's flattened everything coming down there. And right down here, I don't know what that is, though. Anyway, weird. And then, claw marks, look at that. And more chunks taken out all along here. Push myself away. shapes. Yeah. I don't know what that was, but something's come down off of that area up there. Looks like it's another nesting area near that tree, the base of that tree, and you can see all along the underside of the boulders, rocks, the rock face has been damaged. There's in the see where the claws started at the top. A couple of claws dug in and just went that's about a foot wide and four feet long right from the top there. And again triangular marks underneath the rocks. This can again there's an area here where it can have a little flat area just to sit up on. And along that rock face, look at that big scratch along that rock face. chunks taken out. Chunks taken out. Mm. See, this tree's been broken off. It's leaning downward. But something was up there, and you can see its path is taken up the side. And then behind that tree on the rock, and that whole thing right there was gouged out. Look, you can see. Look at that, wow. Gouged out, big triangle. Look. Claw, 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 claw. Big foot. Giant foot. That's four feet tall, maybe five feet. That one up there, the gouges through it. Chunk, rock taken out. All along here, even on the water line, you can see. Triangle. Gouge in the rock next to it, big slices in the rock. Chunks taken out of the rock. Wow, okay. I'm getting somewhere. Look at this nest. One thing I haven't seen in all of this... Sorry, I'm trying to paddle with, with one hand. <laughs> Get over here. Um, one thing I haven't seen are carcasses. You know, bones, skin that it might have shed, teeth. I you know, lost a tooth, something like that. Look at all the marks on that rock right there. As it's come out of the water. Whoops, sorry. As it's come out of the water. Oh, look at that. Where's that? Wow, look at that. Okay, we're going to try and turn ourselves around. Do the hokey pokey. But that. Sorry guys involved in the action. Well, that's a claw mark right there. Something's come up on that little flat area. Or use the ramp. Claw marks coming up out of that, up onto that flat area. I'll just uh, cruise by here. Like I said, it's got, uh, like this is almost a step now as the water level comes up. It can come up to this one right here, this rock below me. I'm going right over and look at the claw marks on the side of this rock. Whoa, and that red right down underneath it. Look at that, that's a big claw mark. Whoa, crazy. And it comes up out of here, out of the water, and sits right up there. It's a nice flat. 
Okay, battery died. Look at that. Claw marks coming out of the water. Oh, gosh. Look at that. Everywhere. Some old, some new. It's been going on forever. There are definitely families that know about this. Groups of people that know about this. You know, one eye symbols and triangles and all this other stuff that we have going on in this society and people saying, oh, it's the Illuminati, the secret societies, whatever. But uh, what if it's about monsters and people who know that they exist? Sorry, I'm trying to paddle with one hand again. This was a nest, but look, was there a rock slide? One other thing I've been thinking about, what if a rock slide comes down on it and crushes one? There could be one underneath there. Look, something, yeah, there was a rock slide here. But you can see all the slices in the rock. Fine. Slices and triangles and coming out of the water. I mean, it's coming out of the water now because the water level is higher, but look at all those pieces of wood, driftwood and stuff, I guess. Whoa! Like is that? This whole area. That in there. That is definitely a cave. Little cave, little nest. So I've seen changes, definitely seen changes as the seasons have changed. One thing I've seen as I go for a walk in the woods is more and more of these same claw marks in the rocks up into the woods miles away from uh, miles away from water look there's an indentation that's a nest right there there's a little indentation okay my battery's probably going to die again uh, this is a weak battery so what I wanted to say is we look at this nesting area underneath a rock this battery's going to die on me again I know it is that I've been going up into the woods and seeing the same thing so I'm going to take you on a little bit of a tour up into the woods at some point and show you what I've been finding. I've collected probably 15 rocks from the woods at this point. And at least that many from around the hike that I did and a couple from the lake. So stay tuned and for God's sake, Look up.